guys what is up welcome back to another vlog um so yeah this is actually last season of like the official off season because next season i do start training and uh, with teams again which is class because even off seasons are good and um, fun and stuff as i said before the thing i really like is playing matches and stuff and that's what i'm looking forward to doing again but yeah i'm really looking forward to it Especially with the training I've been putting in, all the work I've been putting in these last like four or five weeks. I'm really looking to get back into the pre season and just really get going with the season, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, it's Monday morning. It's currently six o'clock. I'm walking down to the um, AstroTurf now. Um, not feeling great this morning, to be honest. Um, I'm like feeling a bit dodgy in your head. Um, some mornings when you wake up early you just don't feel great at all i've got one of them mornings basically but once i get down there and stuff i'm sure i feel perfectly fine so yeah it's just getting through the first little bit when you wake up but in the morning it's the hard bit but after that you're normally fine so yeah i'm gonna get down to the park not the park the astro and probably get on the session so i'll see you when we're there and down to the astro um and basically a lot of you guys like ask what my warm-up is um I don't like have a specific warm up every day. What I normally do is I go lap around the pitch to start. Then I do like a few stretches. Um, I then do like a few shots, but a very light intensity. Um, and then I go into like a normal little drill. Um, but just keep the intensity quite low at the start and then build up as I go through the session. So I do like a little passing drill or something to start me off. And just to get my touch going and to get my legs moving and um, i'll start real like light and i won't be going for it and then um i'll do like three or four sets of it and then by the fourth set i want to be going nearly 100 percent so if you want i can one day like show you it the only problem is though as you can see when we get down here it's pretty dark so it's quite hard to actually show the warm-up because i do it when it's dark as that makes the most sense if you get what i mean so then when it's actually light we can start using it to actually get on with the actual session so yeah in terms of the session today we're going to be doing like more of a shooting based i won't be like doing much dribbling and stuff and um, it's going to be looking more on just focusing on one drill and which is like the shot across goal and because we focus quite a lot on like cutting inside and shooting this off season but also we need to work on like the getting it and hitting it from across and like hitting a cross goal into the other corner or into the close corner but just from that angle so that's basically the main drill today and then we'll probably do another one after so yeah um i'll get my warm-up done as i said and then i'll let you see the shooting drills
session finished and uh, real good session today as i said working on like that other angle sort of shot so when it's not like cutting and hitting it but like going the outside and then hitting it obviously don't have to be a cross go you can be to the close boat near post as well but yeah work on that sort of shot really um, so as you saw at the start we did like a dribble to like her one two off the striker to a touch and a shot and then after we just literally focusing on just touching out the feet and hitting it and um, as you just saw the second drill was like quite far away and um, it's because if you were to go like closer there wouldn't really be time just to touch eight feet and hit it as you'd have a lot of defenders around you but if you're that far out uh, you normally get quite a bit more time on the ball as it's like in the midfield and they don't really close down that quickly so you've got a little bit more time just to get out your feet and then hit a long shot if you've got it in you so yeah that was actually the reason for doing the second drill um but that is it for this morning session and um, i'm gonna do my morning like routine now get home um might have some um, breakfast as soon as i get home not sure it depends on how hungry i'm feeling so yeah i'll probably catch you in a bit okay guys so it's like 12 o'clock now um i just didn't really record my breakfast today because you don't need to see it every single day in life because it's the same thing if you know what i mean um but yeah, it's one o'clock, as I said, and we are about to go to the gym. So, as you've seen in some dental lives, I sometimes eat before going to the gym. Um, but today I'm not feeling very hungry, so I'm just going to have like a little like chicken pie. Um, just like one by itself. And probably like a banana, so it would like one of these. And then a banana as well. Just like fuel me for the session, so I'll have that and then go... And so as you can see, some days I eat my whole lunch before the gym now, and sometimes they are after, it really just depends on how hungry I'm feeling on that given day. So yeah, I'll go to the gym and then have lunch when I get back. So it's literally the same thing, just the other way around. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd give you another update. Um, so I'm basically getting changed and stuff, have my food, and then probably around half one, quarter to two, we'll be going to the gym. So I'll catch you when we're off, ready for the gym. Okay guys, on the way to the gym now, and um, so we've got a leg session, then I'm actually going to be doing a bit of swimming after as well. So yeah, we might as well just get in there and get on with the workout.
session completed. Um, this is a pretty good leg day to be honest. Um, as you can see, I'm not really going for heavy weight this year on the off season anyway. It's more like pause squats like I did at the start and trying to explode out of them and then a pause lunge as well. And then you didn't see one bit because there's quite a lot of people around it when I was doing it, but I did um, like that exercise where you like to do an RDL then up to a high knee lift. So if I can show you in the mirror, it's like you come down with RDL then on the way up, you like push it up with both hands and like do a step forward onto a box. And I superseted them with some single leg box jumps. Then the rest of it you saw. So yeah, it was a pretty good session overall. As I said, not looking for heavy weights, especially on the legs this off season. Um, because I've already got the strength, I just need to change them into now them, get them muscles nice and fast to it. So I'm able to do like run and stuff faster. So yeah, real good session now, as you can probably tell off to the pool um so i'm probably not gonna take my phone with me to be honest because i don't want to get wet and um, so i'll be in there for what 20 minutes just doing lengths and so yeah that'll be like my cardio today so yeah i'm gonna do that and i'll see you when we're finished from the gym um as you just saying, as i said before good session now i'm just getting some lunch because i'm absolutely starving it's nearly four o'clock um basically what we're having is we had some like chicken with peppers and chickpeas the other night so i'm just heating that up and then i'll just have that with some bread basically because i'm just in a bit of a rush to eat because i'm very hungry so today i've got one more session as it's monday and i would like to push myself quite hard on monday as i've got a week ahead so what we've got tonight is like a half hour bike ride then we're going to go and do some sprinting and and finish off with like a stretching routine and some abs probably so that's basically the plan for tonight. So I'm um, gonna have some lunch. Probably start training around six, half six. So yeah, I'll catch you upstairs in a few hours. Now time for the last session of the day. It's like quarter to seven. I am actually had a little nap because I was feeling quite tired to be honest. As I was saying, we've got like half on the bike. What I'm gonna do basically is one minute like high intensity and then one minute rest, one minute high intensity, one minute rest. But the rest will be like just going at a slow speed on the bike and do that obviously for 15 sets so yeah that's the workout on the bike so one minute half one minute soft basically and then we'll go on to the pavement and do our sprinting i'll be doing like 20 minutes 20 meter sprints because they don't hurt at all now on the groin um so that is why i'm on the bike today not going for a run actually because i know how much i can like take on my groin i know if i go for a run tonight like a long run i know tomorrow at football in the morning i feel like a little bit of discomfort on the groin whereas if i use the bike and just do sprinting i won't feel any discomfort so what i'll do is go for a longer run tomorrow night when i don't have football on the wednesday morning so it's just being clever about the stuff making sure i'm fully fit for everything and not putting my body at risk and not like overusing the groin at the moment just bring it back up little bit by little bit to 100 percent and it's nearly there just don't want to risk it now and like on this last bit of recovery and really uh, make a big mistake right now when it's close to the season and it's close to my groin getting back to full strength so yeah i'm gonna get on the bike i'll give you like little updates in between the sets and let's get into it just done the first 10 minutes so the first five one minute sprints Woo, it's a blow <sighs> Finished. You can see on there, 30 minutes. And my watch says I burnt 371 calories. Wow, that is a blow. Check my shirt, how much of a blow it is. Wow, Ooh, I wasn't expecting it to be that much of a blow, to be honest. But if you really go with it, if you really go for it flat out on the one minute sprint, whoa, it's an absolute killer, my legs. Wow hurting now it's gonna sit down for a bit but yeah so as you've seen there you don't just have to go for runs to get in your cardio and um, obviously runs are important as if we play football and footballers do run but there is other forms of getting in cardio without tiring out the legs much or if you have got like a slight problem like me and my groin i know running far distance makes it a little bit eh. so on the bike i know there's going to be no pain on the joint at all on the groin at all and i'm still going to get in a very good cardio session so yeah well i'm gonna chill out for a bit 
and then I'm gonna go downstairs and get the sprinting done, so I'll catch you in a bit. And sprinting finish. So what I did was 10, 20 meter sprints and downstairs is actually pretty good to be honest because the ground's a little bit slippy. So it means you've got uh, at the start, you really have to take short steps or else you can't get going at all or else you'll just slip over. This is a slight incline, which obviously makes it a little bit harder. So yeah, it's a bit different and obviously a bit harder than a perfect Astro, but sometimes that can actually improve you more making the surface hard for yourself. Then when you go back onto a good surface, it's a lot easier. So yeah, um, I did 10 overall with like a minute rest in between as we're trying to get quality reps so we don't want to be like knackered in between the reps. So yeah, that is where we're going to end today's video though. As you've seen, a load of trains today. It's a real tough day, but as we are getting towards the end of the off season, I really want to be pushing it now. I really want to be coming into the pre-season the fittest I can possibly be in the best shape and best like best I can be best version of myself basically coming into the pre-season so then the managers can see me and know what they're going to miss if they don't get me in that team so yeah that's the plan um obviously monday done now tomorrow is another hard day and um, wednesday's a little bit of a lower but yeah we just keep moving keep pushing on until next week when pre-season starts and then we'll have to tail back the training by ourselves a little bit but we'll talk about that later on in this week so yeah, that is going to be it for this video. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure you hit the like button as it helps the channel grow massively. Also hit the subscribe button if you are new around here. Until next time, take it easy and peace.